Hello, Grace. Oh, hello. How are you doing? There's something we need to talk about. What is that? Oh, by the way, thank you for showing me around this neighborhood before. Everybody seems so friendly. I hope I didn't make any bad impression on them. Or did I? Tell me what's going on. No worries. Well, actually, I have a favor. Your daughter often plays in my yard. Oh, really? I'm sorry. She loves to play outside these days. But there's still a big park nearby, you know? So I hope you don't mind about it. You have a big yard and our kids are in the same class too. I'm sure they are happy to play together. Actually, I can't let you do that from now on. Oh, come on. It's just kids. I'm sure your kid needs a playmate. I am a professional gardener, and I spend a lot of time and money on my garden. But your daughter picked my precious flowers. On top of that, she digs my flowers and put her toys on the ground. My garden is so much in a mess now. Also, every year at this time of year, we decorate a Christmas tree in my yard. My kids put a lot of effort to decorate the tree, and your kid destroyed it. My kids are so upset about it crying every day. Oh really? I think it's because we don't have a Christmas tree. She just wanted to touch it? I mean, why do you have to be so harsh on my kid? My little girl loves flowers. So, it's all natural that she wants to touch them. And the Christmas tree too. It's natural for a girl to be interested in something beautiful, isn't it? Also, you put it in your yard. I think it's unreasonable to say that kids shouldn't have an interest in it. I don't understand what you're saying. I mean exactly what I said. Do you think it's okay to come into someone's yard and ruin their flowers just because you want to touch them? Digging up my flowers and destroying my Christmas tree is not playing, you know? It's vandalism. Well, it's what kids do. You can blame my kid. Why don't you stop your kid? If you think so, why don't you stop my kid before it all happened? I've warned her many times, but sometimes it happens when it's not on my watch. Also, I don't have free time to keep an eye on the time. I see. Then, we cannot do anything about it. If you don't want your yard touched so badly, why do you put something precious outside? You cannot just blame it on my kid too. Some wild animals might make a mess too, you know? Why don't you put a lock on it so people cannot get in without permission? It's just a garden, Grace. You are wrong for complaining. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't know you cannot have a decent conversation as an adult. Our yard is our property, and it's not a public playground. If you keep this up, you're going to end up in other people's yard and tearing them up too. Excuse me, I'm not a bored housewife like you, Marina. I'm a working mom. I don't have time for this. I know a housewife like you have plenty of time. If you don't want my kid to come into your house, you should do something about it. <laughs> I know you only work part-time. I think a housewife is much busier than you. Wow, are you trying to pick a fight with me? No, it's just a simple prediction that a person who can even pay attention to their kid probably can do their job very well. Am I right? I take responsibility for my work. A person like you complains about the way the younger ones work and they think they are the best at what they do. Not me. I wasn't talking about you. I'm just saying... Generally speaking. Whatever. You're an adult. You should be responsible and take care of your own yard problems. I mean, it's a housewife's job to protect the house, right? You can even take care of your own yard. So, it's ridiculous for you to talk shit about me. Jesus. It's really quite horrifying how an immature person raised a kid. I'm horrified. What do you mean? Nothing. Anyway, indeed, our yard was cruelly destroyed. And once I confirm the damage to the property, I'll ask you to pay for it. You're right. Adults should take responsibility for their actions. 
Are you threatening me? <laughs> I'm not going to pay for something that a child broke. We'll see. Hello, Grace. You again? Did something happen to your stupid yard again? I don't have time for this kind of talk. No, luckily it's not my house this time. What? Today, someone went into Nancy's yard, two doors down from our house. What? Are you saying that my kid did that? Were you stalking my kid? So creepy! Just shut your mouth and listen to me, asshole. Excuse me? Don't you dare talk to me like that. I won't forgive you. It's you who won't be forgiven. Nancy told me everything. Your kid has smashed every single vegetable in her garden. So what? I don't care. You're going to complain about every single thing my kid did? I wonder if this neighborhood is full of bored people. Do you know that Nancy sells her organic vegetables? I don't know and I don't care. Oh honey, she's very angry. She said you neglected a duty to supervise your kid and she will get a lawyer to make you pay for the damages. I guess she has a right to be upset. Your kid smashed the vegetable that she had grown for a long time. What? Damages? What a greedy old lady she is. Trying to get money out of me by overreacting. Do you know that your kid is with the police right now? What? The police? Why my child? Nancy's son just happened to be home and caught your daughter red-handed. Her son? Is that the creepy bald dude? What a creepy dude is stalking my daughter. He should be in jail. I mean, go and get my kid now. You're not busy, right? I'm busy with my work. Why do I have to do that for an asshole like you? As a parent, you have to take responsibility for what your daughter did. It's not my fault. So why should I take responsibility? It's your fault then. Because you kept an eye on my daughter and didn't stop her. Right? The fact that you're seriously saying that to me right now is freaking me out. You're insane. I guess you have no common sense at all. Or I mean, you're just too dumb to have common sense. Whatever! You should bring my kid back. You're responsible for this. Unbelievable. This is why I hate talking to people with rotten brains. Oh, and Nancy and the police asked me if I knew anything about your family. I showed them our conversation from the other day. I told them that no matter how many times I told you about your daughter, you didn't seem to be cared. Why are you causing me so much trouble? Why are you trying to put all the responsibilities on me? Go and get my kid now. It's your responsibility and I'm not doing it. Marina, what did you do? How's your kid? Since you didn't go, the police called my husband, so he picked her up. Oh, that's good. If the parent didn't show up, your daughter won't be able to go home. No, nothing is good about it. Why didn't you tell me about Nancy's son? What are you talking about? He's the president of my husband's company. You knew and you hid it for me. You're such an asshole. Oh, I didn't know that. I knew that her son was the president of the company, but I didn't know that your husband worked there. What a coincidence. I guess it's true that the world is smaller than you think. I heard that you ran into him at the police station. Oh yeah? Stop I acting like you don't care. Of course I don't care. It's none of my business. My husband was supposed to get a big promotion next year. How are you going to take responsibility? You've ruined my husband's reputation. Because of you, the future of our family is ruined. Please, that's enough. How many times have I warned you? Instead of paying attention to your kid, you just let it go. On top of that, you blame me. My husband is pissed at me saying I don't discipline our kid. You're going to have to pay for it and it's not going to end well for you. You deserve it, asshole. Who the hell do you think you are? Do you understand whose fault is this? If you want me to answer those questions, 
I'd say I'm just a stranger and it's all your fault. Because of dumb parents like you, school teachers are having a hard time teaching kids and annoying kids are playing loudly in public places. What? That's none of my business. It's the children's job to play. Children feel uncomfortable because of narrow-minded adults like you. Listen to me, bitch. It's fine to let your kids play freely, but all kids should have manners and common sense. You are a parent. You are supposed to be a good example to your kid. You can use your work as excuses, but at least teach your kid properly so they don't cause trouble for others. Since then, I didn't receive any reply from Grace. However, I guess she and her kid learned their lesson. The kid never came into other people's yards. I still haven't received a proper apology from her. But her husband and her daughter came to our house to make an apology. He offered to pay for the gardening and the Christmas tree. I hope her daughter takes her father as a good example and becomes a well-mannered adult. Jane? Hey Kate, how are you doing? Your car is in our yard again. I've told you many times that you cannot do that, right? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll move my car later in the evening. My brother and his wife came over and we just needed an extra parking place. You're not going to park your car there, right? You don't have to get so mad like that. I'll move the car later. Yeah, but it's hard for me to see my car when I pull out. But if you can pull out, it's not a problem, right? There is a problem. You can use my yard as parking. Also, my yard is in the middle of remodeling. There are tools and stuff in there, so it's dangerous. It's fine. Don't worry too much. If you get too angry, you'll get wrinkles on your face. <laughs> if you have time to care about my wrinkles, please move that car. Yeah, I will. I'll be home at 5 p.m., so please make sure you move the car before then. Okay. Hey, Jane, you haven't moved the car yet? Oops, I'm sorry. I'll move it soon. Why don't you park somewhere else? You told me you're not using your yard as parking. Also, I don't want my car to be towed. My yard is not a free parking space. You do this every time your brother comes home, right? I'm going to call a tow truck. Oh, come on. I'm making good use of the space in your yard that's available. Do you know that our kids are getting along very well? I wonder what will happen to your kid in kindergarten if you're not nice enough to me. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. But I know your kid is not very good at making friends, right? I told my kid to help your kid to make friends and make sure he is not alone. You should know that just letting me park the car makes your kid happy. You should be thanking me. Is there something wrong with your brain? Huh? What do you mean? Nothing. I mean, I told you that there are some tools and I cannot be responsible for any scratches on the car. It's alright. I see your tools were organized on the shelves. What if the car hits the shelves and falls off? I'm a good driver. I won't hit it. Oh, really? Yep. So, let me park there for one more hour. Then, I will move it later. I'm sorry, Kate. Let me leave the car there overnight. What? Are you serious? You said it would be an hour and now you're telling me I should wait for another night? I told you I'm sorry. I opened a good wine and I can drive now. <laughs> My brother and his wife drunk too. So they decided to stay the night. Oh my goodness. Why don't you move the car before you get drunk? Well, I cannot do anything about it now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Kate! I just moved the car. Thank you very much. Good. This can't happen again, okay? 
Oh no, I'm sorry, but I have to use your yard again tonight. What? Why? Your brothers have gone home, right? We're having a family reunion this time, so I'll park the car there until tomorrow morning. No, you cannot do that. Oh, come on, please. Just think about your kid, you know? Here we go again. We should help each other. Fine. Yay, thank you. But please remember one thing. Please don't complain if any tool hits or scratches your car. I won't complain unless you did it on purpose. Are you planning to do something on my car? No, I wouldn't do it on purpose. Then, there's no problem. And the ground is a little messy from the rain. Please don't complain if your car gets dirty because of it. I won't complain about that kind of tiny stuff. You know what? I'm not that narrow-minded. Get it? I'm glad to know that you won't complain. Okay then, I will see you tomorrow. Kate? Yes? When I got out of the car, there was some hole in the yard and I stuck my foot in it. What? You dig a pit. Me? No, I didn't do it. Oh really? There wasn't a hole like this yesterday. I got mud all over my feet. So disgusting. I'm sorry to hear that, Jane. <laughs> Are you? I just imagine your reaction. <laughs> it's so funny. I guess the ground was softened by the rain. I don't think so. You did it. Do you have any proof that I dug it? I don't, but I know you did it. You will pay for what you did to me. Kate! What do you need now? You moved the shelves. What? When I moved the car, there was an unstable shelf in front of the car and it hit my car. Oh really? Maybe my husband moved the shelves? I told you, we're remodeling the yard, so it's normal that we move the shelves. You did it on purpose. Because of the stupid shelves, my car has dents. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Jane. What are you going to do? I asked you before you parked the car. I told you not to complain if the tool hit or scratch your car. I didn't put them there on purpose. So why are you mad at me? Yeah, you asked me that. But you didn't tell me you were moving the shelves. First of all, it's weird you put the shelves in the yard. And it was unstable. It's our yard and it's none of your business. I mean, you should check before you move the car, you know? If you knew that the shelves were unstable, why don't you be more careful? There were no shelves here yesterday. You would have noticed it even if it wasn't there yesterday. I thought you were a good driver. Or did you lie to me? I'm not a liar. I'm a good driver. Whatever it is, move these shelves out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm away from home. What? What are you going to do with this? I cannot carry these shelves by myself. Hurry up and come home. I'm sorry, I can't. Please deal with it on your own. I won't be back for three days. So you can leave it there during that time. What the hell? I will make sure your kid will be alone in kindergarten. It's your fault. I didn't do it on purpose? Of course you did it on purpose. You pissed me off really bad. I will tell my kid not to play with your kid. Your poor kid will be alone all the time because of his stupid mother. Do whatever you want. I talked to my kid today and he seems to have made other friends beside your kid. No way. That's not true. I mean, he told me your kid is selfish all the time. He might be happy to know that he won't have to be involved with your kid. My kid is selfish? How could you say that? Well then, do whatever you want. You will pay for this, Kate. In the end, Jane had no choice but to leave her car at our yard that day. 
Her husband was supposed to use the car the next day, and he finds out that Jane had parked the car in our yard without permission. On top of that, she had scratched the car. Jane accused me that I did it on purpose, and she and her husband came to our house later that day. I explained to her husband that she had parked the car in our yard and threatened me, even though I had warned her many times before. After her husband found out the truth, he got furious. He scolded her and made her apologize right in front of me. Since then, Jane no longer parks her car at our house and we are now living peacefully. But sometimes I think of how I would have liked to see Jane stuck in a hole. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.